Let me call uh, for the mother, Veronica Harris. Here, Judge. Okay, yes, you've been here all morning. Thank you. Uh, and what about Sean Green? Sean Green, Sean Green, Sean Green. Sir, if you're on the phone, you'll need to press star six. Unmute uh, right now, please. Sean Green. All right, I don't see the name, no answer, Mom, and nobody one else who may testify, if you'll raise your right hands to be sworn, please. All right, do you all swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. All right, thank you much. Mr. Hip, uh, you may proceed whenever you're ready. Uh, case worker, state your name, please. In case you're right. And... Um, where are these kids placed? The kids are currently placed uh, with their mother. And how are they doing? They're doing very well. The um, the oldest child is enrolled in school. She's She was having a little bit of struggles at first, and I think it was due to the adjustment. But just recently, she's improved on her grades. Uh, she just made a passing grade on her uh, compute, computer-based assessment in reading, which is the area she was struggling in. Um, they're healthy, they're happy. It's a final. They're, they're still enrolled in therapy as well. Okay, Mr. Hip, excuse me just for a second. Um, Ms. Moore, I believe we have Mr. Green <coughs> joining us. Um, Give him a moment to connect to audio. Mr. Green, if you can hear me, uh, if that's you, please raise your hand. Sean Green. He may be able to hear now, Judge. Okay, Mr. Green, if you'll unmute and announce your appearance, sir. Yes, I'm Sean Green, I'm here. Okay, very good, thank you. All right, uh, Mr. Hip, you may continue. And so the, the long range goal for the kids is family reunification, correct? Yes. How much longer do you think you need to monitor this? Um, at least uh, another couple of months or so. Okay. How long have they been there? They've been back with mom since October 7th. Okay. And you think another couple of months would be necessary? Yes. Okay, why? Um, just, you know, to because of Ms. Harris' history, we just want to uh, monitor it a little while longer. But as I stated earlier, things are going well, but we just want to continue to monitor just a little while. Okay. Thank you. I'll pass the witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, and Ms. Wright, um, has Ms. Harris completed all the services on her service plan? Yes. And how long has she been done with her services? Um, since November. And early. when you say monitor, I'm sorry, early November? Yes. Okay. And when you say monitor for um, a few more months, how often um, are you going out to the house? to visit with the family? Every week, once a week. And you've been doing that since October 7th? Yes. And have you ever had any concerns at any of your visits since October 7th? No. And Ms. Harris has been... Um, open about allowing you to come at any time? Yes. And is it your understanding that um, CASA has also been monitoring the placement? Yes. And currently we're set for trial May 5th. Are, are you asking that the department continue to visit weekly until that time? Yes. 
Ms. Uh, Ms. McGee? Yes, Judge. I stand to be corrected, but I believe uh, I show at least the final is April the 24th, uh, dismissal 5-8, but we'll, we'll confirm that. Oh. Okay, thank you so much, Judge Emily. Yes. Something wrong with my calendar. Thank you. Um, and so, Ms. Wright, you think it's necessary to continue to go out there every week for two more months? Yes, I do. Is there something specific um, that you're concerned about that you feel like needs to be monitored? Well, um, as I expressed earlier, we just, you know, because of her history, we just want to make sure, you know, just staying a little while longer just to continue to monitor to make sure that things are going well and continue to go well. Okay. Um, but no, you're not asking for any more services or anything like that, correct? If she can continue to, yes, as far as the drug testing, and she has been compliant with that. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll pass the witness. All right. Thank you, Ms. Moore. Um, and my client is getting unsupervised visits on the weekend. Is that correct? Yes. And that's something that he works out and arranges with the mother, right? Yes. Um, and that seems to be going well with them co-parenting, correct? Yes. Um, and you, have you had an opportunity to observe a visit? No, I have not. Not with, um, Mr. Green with the children. No. Okay. Um, have you, you have heard the testimony from the CASA in previous hearing that, um, Ms. Croft observed a visit with him and his children and that it was appropriate, correct? Yes. Pass the witness. All right. Thank you, Mr. Kirkwood. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, children are bonded with mom? Yes. Children are bonded with dad? Yes, from my understanding. And as you just testified to, their co-parenting seems to be uh, going well? Yes. Children are making strides at mom's house? Yes. And um, you're you're not asking to remove them at this time. Is that correct? That is correct. And children want to be at mom's house. Is that correct? Yes. All need all uh, essential needs are being met. Yes. And there is nothing uh, in the in the of emergency that the court needs to know about at this time. Is that correct? That is correct. Past witness. All right, thank you. Back to you, Mr. Hip. Um, can I uh, have the mom testify, please? All right, uh, Ms. Harris. State your name, please. Veronica Harris. And uh, are you married? No. Uh, but Mr. Green is the father of the kids, right? Yes, correct. Okay. And are you currently working? Um, I'm not. I'm actually going to college full time. I stay at home with the little one. And do, are you doing the college virtually? Yes. Okay. So you're doing that online and you can do that with the little kids at home? Yes. Okay. And do uh, you have student loans? Yes. All right. And you and Mr. Green aren't living together? No, sir. Okay. But y'all don't have any problem working out, handing off the kids on the weekends or anything like that? No, sir. I dropped them off every Sunday at 10 and at 5. Okay, thank you. I'll pass with this. All right, thank you, Ms. McGee. Um, Ms. Harris, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, you heard um, your caseworker's testimony regarding wanting to continue to monitor um, the placement with you. 
are you ready for um, yes. the case to be closed? <laughs> Okay. Uh, um, oh, I, I I believe we everybody knows that I, I'm I'm beyond ready. This case has been on for a long time. Uh, at this point, you know, I think I've proven myself more than enough capable. You know, of doing the right thing for my children. Okay. Now, if if the case does continue today, though, you are still you know, willing to allow CPS and CASA and attorney at Lightham into your home any and all times, correct? Correct. But you feel like um, you've made the changes that you need to make in your life? Yes, ma'am. It's been almost uh, eight, nine months now. So, yes. And you believe that your, your kids would benefit from just having some closure from all this so y'all can move on and move forward. Yes, ma'am. I believe it would be very beneficial for us just to move on to the next chapter. You know, I know that I know I'm ready, but I know they're ready as well. Okay. And you do feel like um, you are financially secure in your situation, your housing to continue to be able to provide for your children? Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you so much. I'll pass the witness, Your Honor. All right. Uh, thank you, Ms. Moore. Um, as far as your housing, um, you are currently under a lease. Is that correct? Um, the house I live with my fiance, the house that we live in is already owned, so there is no lease to it. Okay. So you own the home. All right. Um, yeah. And you heard the caseworker testify that she's been coming out there once a week for the last four months. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Pass the witness. All right, thank you, Mr. Kirkwood. I actually have no questions of this witness, Judge. And, uh, thank you, thank you. Um, Ms. Ms. Harris, was your uh, fiance living in the home uh, when the children were placed back with you back in October? Yes, sir. Okay. Right. And if I may, Judge, yeah. I have visited I have visited with the uh, fiance and her and uh, seen the house as well. All right, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kirkwood. All right, uh, back back to you, Mr. Hip. One more question for uh, Ms. Uh, Ms. Harris. Uh, are you, you're currently on probation, right? Correct. And that's for, uh, I believe it was uh, five grams of meth possession? Yes, sir. How long does your probation continue? It is a... Uh, it's a Deferred for four years, but yes. Okay. And are you seeing a probation officer? Yes, sir. I see him every month. I pay two months in advance. Uh, I have complied with everything they've asked me to do, my AA classes and the community service and everything. And your, are you drug testing for the probation officer? Yes. Okay. Thank you. I'll pass it. All right, uh, thank you. Any other questions from anyone uh, for Ms. Harris? Okay, all right. Um, somebody let me know what kind of underlying order uh, between the parents, if any, that we have. Judge, we do have an order adjudicating um, parentage. Um, and I might be mistaken, but I think that's all. Well, now for the oldest child, there there is a, a prior um, AG order that establishes visitation and child support um, for the oldest child, but there are no current there are no prior orders on the youngest as of yet. Okay, so in the as to the child AG, are the parents uh, the respondents in this case? Are they JMC? They are, Your Honor, and uh, Ms. Harris is primary, and uh, Mr. Green is ordered to pay child support. Okay, and does he have an SPO? He does, Your Honor. Okay. All right, and uh, did I sign an order adjudicate, or is there an order adjudicating him as to ZG?
I don't recall an order being signed. We have an a we know if we have an AOP. Ms. Harris, you might be able to help us out. Mr. Green might be able to help us out whether uh, he was at the hospital, whether he signed an AOP, whether he's on the birth certificate. Um, so he was not on Xavier's birth certificate. Um, uh, he, I have ne- not filed child support on Xavier. Uh, mm-hmm. I had filed Is- child support with Amaya, but that was basically for more of a, a custody agreement. Okay. Is anything? Is Sean Green the biological father of uh, Xavier? Xavier? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And uh, were you married to anyone when Xavion was born? No, Your Honor. Is it possible uh, that anyone else other than Mr. Green is the biological father of Xavion? No, Your Honor. Okay. Okay, if, if we've already done this, somebody let me know. But um, any other questions from anyone for Ms. Harris? Okay. Mr. Hip, you may call your next, if any. Uh, Casa. Okay. State your name, please. Ms. Norris, um, <laughs> We're getting insufferable uh, noise from your device, and I bet you can't hear it at all. <laughs> um, but so I don't know uh, what uh, you might be able to do, if anything, to remedy that. Um, so push something, move something, click something, bang on something, and then let's give it one more try. <laughs> Because I really need to hear from you. Well, I can call Monica Croft. <laughs> okay, Ms. Norris, uh, unmute. Let's... It's, it's about the same. So let me hear from Ms. Croft. And Ms. Norris, you may, you've been sworn in. Uh, but you may, if you want to just log off and call in by the phone, on on the phone, uh, you may do that. So, Ms. Croft, you were sworn. Uh, so, Mr. Hip, you may continue. Uh, Ms. Croft, uh, how are the kids doing? They are doing extremely well. Um, <clears throat> Ms. Norris has been logging off and on all day trying to get her her volume and everything to work properly so that she could, could be here. Um, Ms. Norris goes once a month to see the children um, at mom's. I have been to mom's. Um, not while the children were placed there, but I have been to mom before the children were placed there. Um, I have seen a visit between dad and the children. Um, we're, we're extremely proud of, of mom and um, how far she has come. I said it before, um, I seen mom when the case first came into care and mom didn't look too good. And then till now, and the last court hearing that mom was at as well, mom looks mom looks really good. Um, does she have a support system for um, her sobriety? I'm not sure about that. I do know she does have a good support system with her fiance. He is um, a well-rounded gentleman, has custody of his own son, um, has never been in trouble with the law, CPS, or anything else. Um, I have met with him as well. He is he is a huge support system for her. And you heard Ms. Uh, you heard Ms. Uh, uh, Wright say that uh, she believed it is good to continue to monitor the situation. Yes, sir. I heard what Ms. Wright said. Do you agree with that? No, sir. Um, We asked CASA feel that it would be good if the case could close, let mom and the children and and the dad and um, everyone just move on. Um, We're never going to know that she can truly do it herself until we give her a chance to do it. Pass the witness. 
All right, thank you, um, Ms. McGee. Yes, Your Honor, thank you. Um, and Ms. Croft, um, as far as you know, Ms. Norris has also been um, interacting and been able to communicate with the fiance as well. Yes, ma'am, most definitely. Okay. All right, thank you so much. I'll pass the witness. All right, thank you, Ms. Moore. Ms. Croft, do you believe it's in the children's best interest that this case be closed and that they move on? I do, yes, ma'am. Pass the witness. All right, thank you, Mr. Kirkwood. No questions, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Any other questions, uh, Mr. Hip of Ms. Croft? No. Okay, if not, uh, thank you very much, Ms. Croft. Ms. Norris, let's try it one more time. Is that better? Wow. <laughs> I got on my phone, so I'm on my phone now. So. Okay, well, whatever you did, don't forget. <laughs> okay. All right, so any questions from anyone of Ms. Norris? We'll start with Mr. Hip. Did you hear, um, did you hear Ms. Croft's testimony? Part of it. Okay. Well, just tell the court how... Uh, Ms. Green is doing with the kids now. She's doing very well. The kids seem to interact well with her. I've seen a probably the biggest change with um, ZG. He just more talkative. He just looks and appears really happy when I'm there. Um, he's very close to mom. Um, bonds, both of them are bonded well with her, but I've noticed the biggest difference with him. Um, Amaya did have a little bit of issues with school, but she is doing a lot better. Um, I did, I am a teacher, so I know when she's met, she had, has had four different math teachers. So I think part of it was just transitioning, um, was part of it, like filling in the gaps, like in between. So she's gone to three different schools, but has had four teachers. So I, she seems to be doing better. I talked to him at the beginning of January and she was struggling. But when I saw mom this month, she showed me her grades and she, was now like making all A's and B's. So they they both seem to be doing really well there. Did you hear Ms. Uh, Wright testify that she believed it would was necessary to continue to monitor the situation for the next couple of months? Yes, and I agree with that with Ms. Croft that I think um, it's time to be dismissed that the kids and her seem to be doing really well. Pass the witness. All right, thank you, um, Ms. McGee. Thank you, Your Honor. And just briefly, Ms. Norris, and you've been uh, satisfied with the way that Ms. Harris has um, addressed um, her daughter's educational needs? Yes, yes. And she, I mean, she said she's contact, I and mean, she has good contact with the teachers. She's trying to do some things at home to encourage her. I think even her going back to school has kind of been a, a good model for AG. She seems to see that mom has to do homework and work hard to get something done, and so does she. Thank you. Thank you. I'll pass the witness, Your Honor. All right. Thank you, Ms. Moore. No questions. Okay, thank you, Mr. Kirkwood. No questions, Your Honor. All right. Thank you, Ms. Norris. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Hip, any other questions or witnesses? No, Your Honor. Thank you. Um, Ms. McGee, any witnesses? No witnesses, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Um, do the uh, Ms. Moore, Ms. McGee, do the parents want to go on the record um, as to uh, Mr. Green's uh, paternity of uh, ZG and uh, ask for a, a Finding and an adjudication. I believe Ms. Uh, Harris has already testified to that, and I would ask for an adjudication today, Judge. Yeah, she has. She has. So and that will be our request too, Judge. Thank you. Okay, so um, she has. So then, Ms. Moore, you may call your first. And I, I do need to swear Mr. Green in. I don't plan to call him, Judge. Well, I'm going to need both parents. Okay, I'll call them on that limited matter. Okay. Um, all right, thank you. Mr. Green, if I can get you to unmute, please, sir, raise your right hand. 
Uh, you came in after I had sworn everybody in, I believe. All right. Uh, do you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? So help you, God. Yes? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Moore. You may proceed. Um, Mr. Green, are you the father of the youngest child in this case? Uh, from what I know of, yes, ma'am. Will you say from what I know of? Do you have any reason to doubt? Uh, I mean, it's just, you know. The, uh, the situation that happened at the hospital. Okay. Are you asking this court to adjudicate you as the as that child's father today? And are you asking this court to close this case today? Yes. And yes. Pass it with us. Okay. And uh, Mr. Green, do you, do you waive, do you waive, do you give up any right to a DNA test between you and ZG? Oh, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I did. I mean, I can get one regardless, right? Judge, I may need a breakout room. Okay. All right. Uh, let. Okay. I'm, I'm willing to do, I'm, I'm willing to do that. Um, but uh, before we do, um, what what I'm looking to do, and let me see if there is an agreement, uh, Mr. Hip and uh, parents, attorneys, and Mr. Kirkwood. What I'm thinking about doing, uh, especially if we can establish paternity today, is to moving up the trial. Um, and I don't know if you would agree to that, Mr. Hip, but moving up the trial to either February the 27th or uh, March the 3rd, um, because uh, it that, that would give the department a little more time to monitor. Um, either one's fine with me. Okay because it sounds like we're going to need to get some orders uh, as to perhaps as to CG. Um, I think that's best case scenario. So um, Ms. McGee, Ms. Moore, Mr. Kirkwood, would you all be in agreement to that? Absolutely, Judge. And I would prefer the 27th if that's possible. Okay, it, at, at this point, it certainly it certainly is um, probably um, eleven ish. Um, so, uh, what about you, Ms. Moore and uh, Ms. Mr. Kirkwood? And I know Ms. Moore, you may need to speak with your client first. I do need to speak to my client. I am available the 27th. If the court is inclined, um, if the court is not inclined to dismiss the case today and we are going to set it for a final, then I believe that a mediation would be fruitful. We can just knock the terms out and prove up. Okay. Well, depending I get, on how my conversation with him goes as to paternity. Exactly. Exactly. Um, otherwise, we we might need we might need uh, much of our remaining time. So. Um, and I guess, I guess I was envisioning a an informal conference and negotiation as opposed to uh, trying to get a mediation date or uh, a symbol. Uh, but I'm going to leave that up to you all. So, okay, stand stand by, uh, Mr. Green and Ms. Moore. Mr. Green, I'm going to put you and your attorney in a uh, virtual meeting room called the breakout room, you'll be able to speak to her. I'm gonna give you all about 10 minutes for starters. You can speak to her privately and confidentially, okay? Pay attention to your screen because you might need to press a button. A few moments later. Okay, any announcement, um, Ms. Moore? I just need to call my client, Judge. All right, uh, very good, Mr. Green. If you will unmute, please, sir reminding you that you're still under oath. There we go. You may proceed, Ms. Moore. Um, Mr. Green, um, when we are talking about the youngest child in this case, 
Um, ZG, do you believe and agree that you are his father? Yes, ma'am. Are you asking this court to adjudicate you as his father today? Yes, ma'am. Um, you understand that if the court does that, um, then until that child is 18, you'll be responsible for child support, medical, and anything else that comes up for him. Yes, ma'am. You understand that even if you went and took a child support, you know, in a couple of years or, or a paternity test in a couple of years and that paternity test said you're not the father, that you're done because this court's already adjudicated you. So you will still legally be responsible for him. You understand that, right? Yes, ma'am. And you're asking the court to make that adjudication today. Yes, ma'am. No further questions, Jeff. All right. Uh, thank you. Um... Um, Ms. Uh, McGee, uh, any change in your client's position? Is she still asking for me to adjudicate Mr. Green as ZG's uh, father? Yes, she is, Your Honor. All right. Okay. With that, uh, based upon the sworn testimony of uh, the mother of Veronica Harris and uh, Sean Green, uh, the court uh, does hereby find that he is uh, the father of the child ZG. Uh, subject of the suit, and the court does hereby adjudicate him as the father, the legal father of the child, uh, Z. Right. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, so with, with that, any objections to uh, resetting the trial? In fact, moving it up to February the 27th, we'll say at 11 a.m.? No objection. No objection. Okay. All right. No Mr. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the court uh, will continue uh, for a little while longer, at least. The department has the temporary managing conservator, uh, finding that the mother... Uh, is uh, still uh, willing and able to provide a safe environment uh, for uh, the children. The parents are present and compliant today. And uh, having adjudicated uh, Sean Green as ZG's father, I will sign an order to that effect as well as uh, for the permanency hearing. We'll see you all back uh, not too long from now, February the 27th. I believe that's a Monday. February the 27th at 11 a.m., 11 a.m. for a final trial in the matter. Uh, dismissal date is uh, May the 8th, 2023, and even though things could hardly be going better, I still have to admonish both of you, as you know, that if at the end of this case you're not willing and able to provide a safe environment for your children, your parental rights may be further restricted or even terminated permanently. I know you understand that, obviously. You don't want it to happen. Keep doing what you're doing.